Today I'm going to show you how I turn my trips using Tripsy on the Mac. Uh, the app is also available on iPad and iPhone and the UI is very similar so you can download it from the App Store. Okay, so I just downloaded Tripsy and here is the first state of the app. Um, I can see the option to create a new trip and some inspirations below. I already know when I'm traveling and where I'm traveling to. So I just start creating my trip. Just tap create a trip and then start typing the name. I'm going to London, so this is the name of my trip. I already know the dates of my trip, so I will set the dates, but this is optional. You, you can leave this field empty if you don't have the dates yet, in case you are planning a trip next year or some dream trip that you have or some location that you want to know, you don't need to set the dates. But it's better if you do, because then you can start planning the itinerary. Okay, so let, let me set my dates. It's from the 8th of November until the 15th. Set the dates. And then I will choose a background image for my trip. So I will search for London here. And the app will suggest me a bunch of images from Unsplash. I will select the first one that looks really good to me. Okay, create. There you go. Now I have my trip here. I, I will start by adding my flight to London. So I just tapped here on new activity. So I just tapped flight here. And then I'm going to search for New York, JFK to London on the 8th. There you go. I'm going on this flight from British Airways. The information looks okay to me. The app is already giving me the departure time, the arrival time the time zone difference and the flight direction. I already have my seat, so I'm just type here. It's 3C, business, safe. And then I don't have my reservation code here, but I can add it later. Just save. Okay, so now I see my flight on the itinerary. In order to add the hotel for my trip, I'm going to use the the, the feature that I most love about Tripsy, it's called Tripsy Automation. So I already have a reservation from booking.com. So I'll just forward the email to Tripsy. I'll open my email here, get the reservation email from booking, forward the email to my at tripsy.app. Send it. And in a few moments, Trip Tripsy will identify the reservation and add a new activity to me. There you go, we just received a confirmation. A new activity was imported into your trip. My trip, London, and this hotel. Okay, so if I open Tripsy now, I will see the hotel is here in all my itinerary. So my check-in is here. And my checkout is on the last date. If I open the hotel, I can check all of the information like the reservation call, the phone number, the map, and some notes about the, the room that I, that I reserved. And I can also access the email that booking sent to me with all of the helpful information if I need. Just closing this, closing this. Okay, so <clears throat> from the trip, I can see my lodging here, it's always present. So I, I will always have access to my hotel very easily by tapping here. The next thing that I'm going to do is add some activities to my trip, places that I want to visit. So on the 9th November, I want to visit the British Museum. I just tap new activity, museum, and search near my hotel. 
so it's easier to find. So British Museum. Okay, it's 3.5 kilometers from my hotel and the app just found it. So I'm tap on it. I already have the phone and the website and I set the date. I'm going to do on the Wednesday in the morning, like 9 a.m. and just save, save. There you go. Now I can see the museum on my itinerary. And I also have quick access to all the museums by tapping on this one. Another place that I want to visit is the Buckingham Palace. So I'm going to add a new activity for, and I'm going to type here, Palace Boo. Again. There you go, the app found it. I already have also the phone and the website. I just add this to Thursday afternoon. Save, save. Okay, now I have another activity in another category button for tour. Another very useful feature from Pripsy is the documents. So here we have a, a whole button for that. If I tap here, I can already see the email from my booking reservation, but I can also add more. I'd like to add my COVID vaccine certificate on Tripsy. So I always have these with offline access. I'm just going so to drag it from my desktop. There you go. Now I have my COVID certificate on Tripsy with offline access. I can add PDFs, images, any type of document into Tripsy and access it from any device. Now that I have almost everything, I can start exploring a little more. So I can close here and tap to see the map of my trip. And I can see it by day. So here I can see the museum that I added and my hotel. By tapping on it, I can see more information. I can change the type of the map here. So I can see a more realistic version of the, of the map. And I can also see by categories. So I, I like to see all the museums I'm going or all the tours or all the flights that I'm having. The map is very helpful when you have a lot of information. And on the next updates for iOS 16 and the next Mac version, you will be able to also select the items from the map. So for instance, if I'm going to the museum and I, I want to add some restaurants near here, I can just tap here and add it. This is not available here, but on the next version of the iOS and Mac, this is going to be possible. Another very useful feature on Tripsy is the sharing option. I can tap on this icon here, and then I have some options. First one is adding other guests to my trip so they can collaborate with me and add new activities, add new documents, help me plan my trip. The other option is sharing a web link. This is read only option, and it's very useful to share with people that want to follow your trip, but don't change anything. When you tap here, you see an option to create a web link, and you can choose to hide the document from this link for privacy concern. In this case, I'm going to hide the documents because I don't want people to have access to my documents with the link. So I'm just tap create the link. The link is created. Now I'm going to tap share link and I share it over email. I just send myself the link so I can have it. Let's tap the link to see how it looks.
Nice. So I can see the whole itinerary here with all of the information. If I tap here, I can see all of the hotel information or the flight, museum, everything here is available. And it can, it can be accessed from any device, including Android or Windows or any other platform. This does not require the app to be installed. That's really cool. Okay, let's go back to the trip. Another very useful feature on Tripsy is the usage of widgets. On the Mac, we have them by accessing the clock here and then tapping Edit Widgets. In this screen, you see all the Tripsy options. I already added some options here from Tripsy. So I can see my next trips here with quick access to it. I can tap and open directly on Tripsy. I can see another widget here showing me how long, how far is my trip. And I also have one option here to shortcut. So this shortcut will open all my flights on, from my next trip. This is very helpful. So if I tap here, I'm going to open the museum on Tripsy. This is very, very helpful for a quick access of information. Lastly, I'd like to tell you about the calendar sync feature on Tripsy. With this feature, you can have all of the, your activities of all of your trips in your calendar. This is very, very helpful for someone that don't want to always open Tripsy, but always have the calendar on hand. So everything will be there. That's it for now. This tutorial is already too long. So hopefully this is very helpful for you. Please let us know if you have any suggestions, any feedback, any questions. We are more than happy to help here. Thank you very much and have a nice trip.